I would wear this jacket for special occasions because it really is such a statement piece. The jacket in question is called a Sukajan or souvenir jacket. It's definitely trending up. Souvenir jackets are really cool because they have this interesting backstory involving a back and forth exchange between countries. It turns out the name souvenir jacket is extremely literal because at the end of World War II, American soldiers found themselves about to head home from Japan. But before they left, they wanted a souvenir. So soldiers took their jackets to Japanese tailors to create an embroidered keepsake. The Japanese name Sukajan is pretty straightforward too. The jacket first started surfacing in the Yokosuka, sorry, Yosuka, Yo, Yo, Wait, Yokosuka. I'm trying, guys. So Suka from Yokosuka was combined with Jan, a casual term for jacket. So you're probably thinking, okay, but what's the deal with all of those cool patterns? Well, as I mentioned before, the soldiers wanted something to remind them of Japan. So they commissioned the local tailors to jazz up their jackets with this special embroidery. Now you might notice that the images on these jackets aren't exclusively Japanese. In addition to cranes and cherry blossoms, for example, you'll also see things like tigers or dragons or all sorts of stuff. That's partly because the soldiers weren't experts on Japanese iconography, but it's also because other imagery like dragons made its way over to Japan through the cultural exchange that happens in port cities like Nagasaki. Regardless of what imagery was chosen, the jackets turned out great. And that's because Japanese embroidery, or Nihon Shisu, is incredible. Every detail, down to the size and color of the thread, can be used to reflect the wearer's personal style. Now in the decades that followed, these Eastern-influenced jackets didn't really catch on in America, but Western fashion did catch on back in Japan. The American look got so popular Popular, in fact, that some Japanese youth started wearing sukajans as a sort of rebellion against that Western influence. So the sukajan, in addition to being gorgeous, started getting this kind of rebellious bad boy image. And this new cool factor encouraged Japanese designers to experiment with new colors and designs. As fashion designers started reading more Japanese fashion magazines, the sukajan made its way to the fashion scene worldwide. Now it seems like everyone is wearing them. Pop stars, models, movie stars, but it took a pretty wild game of cultural tag just to get us here. So just to recap, Americans placed Japanese art on American jackets, which caught on in Japan because of a reaction to American fashion, which Japan perfected and shared with the rest of the world. <sighs> okay, got it. That's what's really fun about fashion, is like a conversation between cultures, and it's always changing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed learning about that as much as I did, you can let me know in the comments or on social media using the hashtag WeWearCulture. And head on over to Google Arts and Culture here. And make sure to check out the rest of the videos by clicking here.